In order, do the roll call. I show Charles Randy Sneed, Julie Stauffer, George Knoll, Dustin Johnson, myself, Suzanne Umball. I show Derek Jones and Clerk Treasurer Lisa Mullaney. Let's stand and do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Minutes of October 19, 2016, regular session. Any additions or corrections? Then heard we need a motion. Motion to accept the minutes of Wednesday, October 19, 2016. Submitted. Second. The motion is second to accept the minutes of October 19, 2016. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Citizens input. You're with Hyperlink. I'm with Four Way. Four Way? I'm with Four Way. These guys are with Hyperlink. Go ahead. So I'm, uh, I just want to express some concerns I've got. I have my understanding is that we're about ready to sign a lease with Hypervine to put equipment on the water tower. And that may have an adverse effect on my equipment that's already up there. So uh, I just want to make that, make sure we're aware of that. And, uh, so far, I'm, you know, I haven't been able to uh, establish any kind of uh, communications where we can coordinate these things. So, um, so I've got some concerns about renting that same space out using the same frequency we're already using. So, okay. So I understand that based on the lease I sign, and I assume they're getting the same lease that we're supposed to understand that other people are there, and we have to work those things out. So, right. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but so far they uh, haven't been very responsive when I've been asking about cooperating on other locations, so. Anyway, that's all I have to say, so. Okay. Um, other locations being other locations on the water tower? Well, or other other, not, all the not on this one, it's other, other sites. There are other sites where we have equipment on the same tower. And in uh, at least three other occasions, I've had equipment up there, and they've added equipment after the, you know, after my equipment's there. And <clears throat> we're all trying to use the same you know, frequencies to distribute, you know, to serve our customers. So mm -hmm. um, there at least ought to be something in there that says that they're not going to utilize the same frequencies I'm using right now or have to use them. But it's. Not it is in fact the, the, the lease that I signed just says you know it's, we understand that somebody else is going to be there and we have to uh, work those out. T Tom didn't really want to get into the technical details of who's, who can use what frequencies and but at this point I've got equipment up there and RTC has equipment up there and all using you know, a lot of the same frequencies and there's certainly potential for interference. RTC doesn't have much up there, and I've got a pretty good working relationship with them, so we can work out the, um, the issues that arise. But the, the type of things that Hyperbine is doing, that we're doing, pretty much the same thing. So it's utilizing the same bands. I know that it's already a challenge to keep, to to deliver service using those bands as we are now. So if we had more equipment, that's going to make it. Uh, Right. Your lease rule, it does le uh, read the same as the lease that uh, was provided to Hyperwave and the relevant portion of that says that the lessee, that's four-way, that's Hyperwave, that's RTC, that's anybody up there, right. agrees to reasonably cooperate and coordinate its frequencies and bandwidth with those of any other entity on the water tower and that the lessor, the town, has a final authority to restrict or limit certain frequencies in the event of conflict. So basically I read that to, to say that, yeah, it is expected that anybody and everybody up there is going to cooperate with one another 
And if there is a problem, I think it's going to be the recommendation, or at least my recommendation to the town, that somebody's got to go if somebody's not cooperating. I don't know what problems exist right now. Certainly none between hyperwave because they're not up there no, yet. No, I know there's no there are no issues. I'm, and, uh, I, but I, I think it's fair that they're expected to cooperate and have communication and make sure that we don't run into those problems or it's basically going to probably run yeah. it for And that, that's somebody. really all I'm looking for is to make sure that we do, you know, it's clear that, you know, that uh, must be reasonable cooperation. And, right. And one, one entity can't monopolize the whole that's expected out of all the people up on the water tower, so, yep. Okay. Alright, is that okay, that's, all that's all I have. Alright, thank you. Is there any other citizens input? Jerry Chavez, Argus Video. Yeah, I guess that's what you have do. Well, no. So, um, the Argus the the Argus. <laughs> so what I got here is a uh, couple things I want to share with Council. Uh, the long-awaited uh, video for the town uh, kind of communicates some of the benefits, uh, amenities and whatnot, have been uh, finalized. And uh, just, we'll go ahead and roll the video, if you will. Uh, we'll probably uh, want to release this press release in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and let everybody take a peek at that. Uh, the effort behind this is to cause media to grab some attention on, on what you're doing for yourselves. Um, but I did want to push this out there until council had an opportunity to... Uh, we, we can shoot. Yeah. I, I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see it before they hit the hit the uh, media outlet. So having said that, if I can just have everybody watch the screen here. Uh, hopefully I've done this right. And uh, yeah, I should launch it pretty quick. <laughs> I loved it, I guess, just how much everybody cared about everybody. And 
doesn't matter like where you came from before you came here. I mean, you just become one, all of us, which is really a good feeling, I guess. Everybody knows everybody in school, even if they're in kindergarten. You still know their name because it was a small community, K through 12, same building, uh, very small classroom, great school, low crime, safe environment. Because these are the best. They own their own electric. They have put a very aggressive economic development policy in place. This community has delivered plans to grow jobs in the area. They want to be business partners going forward with industry coming in. Between development, commercial, industrial, and even residential, I see Argus uh, being a place that we will move forward. Here's a town that has taken upon themselves to start investment in an industrial park. We're in an area that, that's a good location. You see a lot of good quality jobs, not only in Argus, but in the surrounding area. An original Indiana Railroad town, now positioned for an exciting future with a new industrial park. One of the best school systems in the whole state. Park system people can't believe is here. Anything but pretentious. It's a wonderful place. There's so many opportunities. We bought a home. We have a certain family here. Good caring people. And we look out for each other. When they're going crazy on TV, I sit on my porch looking at the pond behind me and I think, you know, this is wonderful. I love it. It's a small community. It's a great place to raise a family. It's a nice little community. We're not all related, but we are. I mean, everybody knows your name. Good people. When something happens, it seems like everybody knows about it. People there to help support them. Just a low cost of living. High quality of life. That's Argus. I consider the community a family, so you're kind of like joining in a family, not really just moving into a house. nuts and bolts. Hopefully you guys uh, it met your expectations as a giving a, a great message for Argus. One that they're looking for. How long? Because I'm kind of taking the technology down. Um, so how this video was developed, as you recall, there was a survey that uh, big idea pushed out to a lot of people. So that survey was uh, was giving direction to big idea. What are the important things? What are the amenities? What are the things that, that people in town want to communicate? They took this as a framework to start to piece together a stitch, if you will, uh, kind of uh, components of the video. Uh, came in and shot, uh, I think, at the state fair uh, prior to the taping of the people that you saw on, on the, on the uh, screen there. And I had mentioned, once again, big idea. The value that, that, that the town received, uh, probably one of the best PR and ad agencies in northern Indiana produced this. Uh, the cost of this normally is, you heard me say, I can't remember when that was approved. 
that's not important. Uh, I think I mentioned we had bargained this down. If you were to pay a full bill for this, I mentioned at that time it would be about $10,000. Bill came uh, if we were paid full bulk for that, or the, what the total cost is right about nine thousand. They told us that they would do this video for our guess for three. So you can see the upside and the value and the uh, value proposition for the town itself. So I'm really happy about the product itself. It uh, this is the same type of this is the same company that really. Uh, delivered a home run for regional cities and they actually put a video for the town of Culver when they're going for their stellar application. I think Suzanne got to see this. I don't think anybody else. Uh, I thought maybe one of the department heads were down there too, but they do outstanding work. Uh, with that being said, I'll take any questions regarding the video. We have it posted on our website today. So if you go on the front page, you can go down to the various communities or three. Plymouth has a video, Culver has a video, and now Argus has a video. So when you try and get information on the community itself through my website, you can click on that and this particular video will run. I want to make this available to other opportunities. <coughs> uh, but more importantly, I'll, I'll be releasing this press release in the morning and we're hoping to capture uh, a couple of news stations to pick up on it and talk about marketing, talk about uh, regional cities talk about uh, Marshall County communities doing uh, good work for themselves and trying to grow the communities. So, I'll take any questions. Move my hand. Just for your records, uh, don't do anything with that just yet. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I got a question. You have any questions? No. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd I like to get your reaction. What do you think of the video? I like it. Did you like it? Yes. Yeah. I've seen other ones. Did you have one last time? We never had one. Was there anybody else there? I see a couple smiles up there. Good. Well, thank you for allowing us to help you in that uh, endeavor. If you have any questions or anything else, uh, go ahead and give me a call back. But uh, uh, we're just going to start to push that out different venues so we can start to get a little bit of attention on August. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Well, while you're standing there. Mark Umball, <coughs> economic development. Because of con time constraints and what's happening tonight on the television, I will give my report next time. Thank you. <laughs> Go on. We'll try it. Let this is your weekend, Jimmy. <laughs> Who does this? Attorney report. I sense the gist of what's going on here, so I'll try to be quick too. Um, I only got a few things. RMC, I finally did get back. I got some documentation. I'm looking over. I had some suggested changes to that. I'm still working with the uh, attorney down in Indy. On, the, on those territories. Once I'm done with that, I'll let you folks take a look at that along with Jim as well um, before everything gets to be a done deal, but um, it's shaping up because it's not there yet. Um, the farm lease, it says farm lease resolution on there. Uh, in your bid, I'm sorry, in your packets are the bid uh, terms and specifications for that lease. There's nothing that we're going to act on this evening at the next meeting on November the uh, be the 16th, I believe it is. Yeah, yes. on the 16th we have the public hearing at 715 to basically approve the <coughs> specifications. It's good that you've got them. So you could take a look at these. They're the same as last year. The only thing different is the dates have been changed. Um, but at the next meeting we're going to basically get that resolution uh, approved and be able to lease the farm ground in course with those terms and specifications. Okay, nothing to do tonight, but just so you can take a look at that. At the next uh, meeting, we will act with that resolution. Lastly, uh, under my section, we have that usage and lease agreement that we did get back from Hyperwave. It looks like we got some folks here from Hyperwave this evening. Um, they have indicated that there's one attachment that they're gonna have up there. 
They've also put in that the lease begins the first day of November. Now, you folks understand that today's the 3rd of November, so you're right. shorting yourself a couple days and the event town proves this. And I don't know if Jim's had an opportunity to I look have. at any of this equipment. I have. I'll Everything's have. good to go on your end? Yep. Okay. So basically this lease is ready to um, approve, if that's the town's pleasure. Okay. You folks have cops that? You do have that in your practice. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as you say, what's the conflict here? Well, I don't, I don't know if there's a conflict. Okay. I, I have no reason to think we're not going to work together. I just okay. wanted to make sure that we're impressed. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of opportunities for us to both do what we want to do. I just want to get keep, keep my customers happy. I'm sure they want to do the same. But I just want to make sure it was... And again, the lease yeah. is the same. It's a standard boilerplate form lease, but you know there is the expectation of Hyperwave folks that um, we all got to cooperate and play nice together. In other words, in fact, I think there are things we can do to we can both benefit from this if we, you know, depending on how well we get along. So, make a motion to accept the lease with Hyperwave technology. Second. Okay, motion is second to accept the lease. Actually, it's going to be yes. I think it'll be a new resolution. Correct? Pardon? No. Mm -hmm. It's just the agreement. No. You're looking at the farm. Oh, they're just stapled together. <laughs> You're, that's the farm? That's yeah. correct. That's the resolution that goes on the front of those specifications. Okay. Oh. But right there is your usage and okay. lease agreement with Hyperwave. Sorry. We have a motion and a second to accept the lease agreement with Hyperwave. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <laughs> Welcome to work together. Thank you. All right. Moving forward. Motion accept the attorney report. Done. I'm done. <laughs> I'll second that. So motion is second to accept attorney report. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Alright, next Green Slope Monument Dedication. It's going to be on Veterans Day. Which is the 11th. 11th. Uh, At 4 p.m. for anybody that is wanting to come out for that. It, the monument will be set November the 8th, but the dedication will be on Veterans Day. So far we are having the uh, American Legion is trying to get a firing squad together for the veterans that are on the memorial. Anita Kopetsky, I, I probably killed her name, but from the Marshall County Historical Society is going to come down and Alan Earl is working on getting a pastor so um, to come down and just say a few words. So. And I'm going to say a few words. Yeah, oh, and Dustin's going to say a few words. So. Right. I know. Right. And Anita was part of the seven people that wanted to see the monument up. So she has been kept in the loop the whole time. She has helped us check over the names. Dustin's wife was kind enough to go through five lists of names to wheedle them all down into one list. So I think that deserves some recognition. Janet and Lucky started it. <coughs> so, and you know, I mean, there's been a whole collaboration on this and I'm hoping that people will actually come out. Thanks. Moving forward, <coughs> board openings, Marshall County Tourism, Planning Commission, Redevelopment, BZA. If you're interested, submit your letter of interest to Lisa, the board treasurer. Um, any other old business? The scarecrow contest. Um, the uh, Redevelopment Commission had a contest with the scarecrows, <coughs> and none of them could be here tonight. <coughs> All's working, one's sick, and one's doing something else. So, anyhow. I was asked to do this. They had the contest. <clears throat> the people voted, 
and uh, there was one, seven, seven of them were voted on. The top three was, uh, the first one was uh, Miss Artis, uh, got 76 votes, which was like 49% of the votes. Uh, Puppy Love got 23, and Fencing, which is, what's the name of the fencing company? D-Mark Fencing. D-Mark Fencing. Uh, they got 37 votes. So the winner was uh, Bailey Knife on. Right. And what'd she get? She got, um, well, she hasn't picked them up yet, right. but she got $30 in gift certificates donated um, from Subway. Well, First Source Bank donated $30 worth of gift cards for Subway and um, McDonald's. So they're ten dollars a piece. There were three of them. Then um, second place got a twenty-five dollar gas card from BP, and third place got a candle donated by the hardware store. So on behalf of the uh, planning commission, which could be here, which I've been asked to take the place, but anyhow, on behalf, we'd like to thank all the citizens that voted and everyone, and we hope this is something that continues because it does make our town look so much nicer every fall you know and this is something maybe we can take in some other ways and some other things we can do so thank you that's it okay. something else in old business has to do with the revitalization of downtown it's from rhubarb rain incorporated antiques and design it's a thank you card it says just a quick note to thank you for selecting us to participate in the downtown business revitalization program we are so pleased with how our building looks happy fall sandy garrison and joe kids so. any other old business new business jim burroughs i'm here tonight to ask permission to reclassify um Harry Parton to a general laborer for $15, and I'm asking permission to advertise for another full-time general labor uh, position. As I've stated in the last couple of meetings, um, I've had some people go out with surgeries, and we are shorthanded with all the projects uh, that we have. And um, then in the spring, we'll probably be looking at uh, apprentice linemen, sliding one in there. So. I'm asking for permission to reclassify Eric at $15 an hour as a general laborer <coughs> and advertise for another general laborer and interview for that process. I move that we let Jim do his reconstruction of his work group. <laughs> the motion and a second to let Jim Burroughs do the reconstruction of his work group. He's going to move Harry Parton as general laborer and change his wages and then uh, he's going to advertise for another full-time position. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Redevelop or Money for redevelopment Christmas promotion. Do you have anything for redevelopment? No. Okay. Yeah, the Redevelopment Commission has asked, and I, they apologize for nobody being here tonight, but Paul is working and Chris is elsewhere and Fern is sick. So we're, that was at their last meeting. Yeah, and they ask. they're asking for anywhere from 250 to $300 for the Christmas promotion that they discussed at their last meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're asking for like prize monies for because the promotion is, I forget, it's, it's really involved. Yeah, we have gotten the 12 days of Christmas Christmas lights, and we are planning on kind of incorporate, or well, the Redevelopment Commission, right. not me, okay? Right. Um, the Redevelopment Commission is talking about um, showcasing 12 businesses over that the course of the holidays and getting a passport book where um, if, you happen to be the fifth business that is showcased, you would have to go in there and find the five golden rings. It can be either one picture, it can be five golden rings hidden around their store or whatever. You get your passport book stamped by them and you can win prizes. So that's the gist of it. 
for the just one. Um, Two hundred to three hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred to three hundred. Two well, two fifty to three hundred. Two fifty to three hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, to help with the program because their donations wasn't that great for the scarecrow contest like they thought they was going to be. Right. It's hard to get donations, so. So. What are they? Motion. So they discuss it more with you. I like promotion we get three hundred dollars for the Christmas promotion. I'll second. So a motion is second to get three hundred dollars for the Christmas promotion for the redevelopment. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries to give redevelopment three hundred dollars for the Christmas promotion. It's Christmas parties. All right, I have contacted Jay just to find out price. Um, every year we do a Christmas party for the employees. And he's gonna give me prices, but we have to uh, we have to talk about this soon. We can't wait until next month. All right. And you also usually donate money towards the fire department. Right. Is there uh, any more ideas with that? We put a limit on it last year, didn't we? Thousand dollars, wasn't it? For the fire. Fire and EMS together. What are you doing? Just join the ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You come into town with us. Oh, what do I do? No, I go to the fire one. I, I don't go to the other one. I, I uh. Talk to, like I said, I talked to Jay. He's getting price on the meats. So if we were to have fried rib and chicken, yeah. um, because meat prices fluctuate. So I don't have a dollar amount from Jay. What about date? Yeah, we got to talk about a date too. That's why I'm saying we got to talk about this. We can't right. wait. We can't wait on a date. Um, and it needs to be in the beginning of December. We don't want to go too far into December <coughs> if people start leaving. You know. Saturday, Sunday? Probably last year was on Sunday, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday because like the fourth maybe or something Sunday. like that. The fourth was the first Sunday. I didn't want to go on further down. I would say let's do it on the first Sunday because like I said, you get further in towards right, Christmas. Right. And, the people, people are leaving us. Yeah. So, uh, yep, yeah, the fourth. That would work. I'm sure it costs. We're at one nothing. <laughs> Sorry, this is by the No, I wish. That was close to the number. What's that? Fourteen fifty. I don't. I'm not sure. Lucky, he said it was going to be out. I think it was close. So last year it was close to fifteen hundred bucks. We can decide on the amount. At our next meeting, right? Mm -hmm. To decide on to have the party. Well, do you still want to do the fire and EMS at a thousand? You actually have more fire EMS at the party than you do the town mm -hmm. parties at a party for less money. <laughs> but we always go to the. We usually go to the uh, Methodist Church and they do ours. So. We don't do ours to January, till after season. Give everybody a break. But I'm assuming about hundred per thousand if we've done in the past. So let's make a motion that we give a thousand dollars to each to the fire department and the EMS for the Christmas party. No, it's all one. It's all one. It's all one. One thousand. So. All right. Yeah. I was going to really be generous. I know. <laughs> Don't like me. <laughs> okay. 
Aye. <laughs> we got a motion. Second. So a motion and a second to give $1,000 to the fire department, fire and EMS, so they can have their Christmas party. Um, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, now we got to decide on a date for the town employees. Super Super. Okay. Well, I'll make a motion <coughs> to have the town employee Christmas party on December the 4th. Second. Got a motion and a second to have the town employee Christmas party on December 4th. Any further discussion? With this, we'll, we'll make the dollar amount at the next meeting. Right. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Reach alerts. I was approached um, by a company called Reach Alert, obviously. And um, we were kind of looking at a way to tell people like if we had a boil order or if um, if something was going on in the town. This company um, has partnered with IACT and they are offering a service. If any of you have had kids in school, you know exactly how this works. They'll either text you, email you, or um, they place voice calls to you and let you know what's going on. Like we just had a situation with the polls up their light poles were not lit from Smith Street up, and how many times did your phone go off, Jim? Several. <coughs> okay, so we need a way to communicate with the residents that we are aware that this is happening without them, you know, calling us all the time. So I put the prices on the bottom. It's just something to think about. Um, it's a dollar per year per household for the first year and it would jump up to two dollars per household after that so if you have 800 households you know they you have to actually sign up for it um i think that there would you know um i don't know if there's a way to add it to like call it fire protection slash um emergency services I don't know you know what I mean so or if the town just wants to pay for it I'm I'm just bringing it forward as a consideration there's 600 and some houses in they figured 800 okay. now they just do the city limits then? well no they will do as many houses as we want them to do so if you want to include everybody in with a 46501 zip code they will do that but then you got to realize too that you right. got people out in the country that have tippy canoe zip codes yeah. you know what i mean um that are still part of our community so um you know basically you start out with a lump sum and then you work out from there okay. but for a dollar per household for people to get text messages immediately or emails for the first year i mean you can try it out for a year if you don't like it you can stop you know what i mean but all of you all of us would have the capability of pretty much putting stuff out there through our cell phones and stuff it's just for your okay. thoughts table until they don't look at it yeah that's fine That's nothing for this. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Alright, any other new business? Nixon. Nixon. They do the same thing. Fish fries on the sign. It's, it's the same thing. What is it, Bob? The <laughs> same day as the Legion's free one for veterans? Yeah. <laughs> the 11th. The 11th? No, no. 12th. 12th. Thank you. Claims, 1239 through 1298. All right. Um, 
the total docket for November the 2nd totaled $296,440.72. The top five claims were um, IMPA at $164,148.37. Second was payroll number 21 at $34,425.07. Third one was Miller Norson Insurance at $26,080. Fourth one was United Healthcare at $14,262.87. And the fifth one was Republic Services at $7,302.54. The top five claims totaled $246,218.85, and they were 83% of the total docket. stone yesterday and rolling it you're supposed to start the paving tomorrow probably not going to happen now it was rolled up today when it went by oh, yeah yeah they're progressing the other thing that we're progressing on is that we're putting up four poles up down for the <coughs> lighting swag for christmas right. holiday decoration need politically correct um <laughs> Got two of them up. That's why the lights north of the town didn't work. We had we had another instance that we had to rush and take care of that took precedence. So it was dark for a night, but it's it's fixed now. And then we'll be setting the other two probably when this stops. Um, so that'll be taken care of, and then shortly after Thanksgiving we'll get them up. Uh, the one for out at McDonald's, I've yet to get my permit for, so it may not happen this year. It sounds like I may be going for it. Alright, let's see. That's all I got. Motion to adjourn. Second. Yeah, motion to second. Aye. 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 Aye.